Yeah, and Bryant's doing a really good job just keeping the momentum on their side of the end. Um, you know, so far they're really running and gunning. Um, they have the uh, uh, momentum on their side, so they're doing a good job, and just they need to keep that going. O'Rourke, nice dip there inside McGovern, and he scores! What a move by McGovern. He finishes off the gorgeous pass from O'Rourke, and the Bulldogs have a one nothing lead. No. Have, um, eliminating those mental errors that, um, you know, you have the, your first game jitters and whatnot. Here's Get a save by Bimefor as Paul picked up a loose ball and now a chance on the goal crease. Are they going to count it? Yeah, they are. Coming from behind, Ben Martin able to keep himself out of the crease long enough to put it by Bimefor and tie this game at one. Bryant turns it over on the clear. And McGovern is just holding it. O'Rourke now up on top. Here's a shot and a score! Right through the five-hole. Bulldogs take a 2-1 lead. Austin Kent whistles it home. In behind, this is George Prince trying to get away from the Bryant defense. Long pass out on top. Now a good dodge. Bryant's man-on-man up, man on man defense is really good. Here's a low shot and a score. They somehow get it by buying for that's George Prince. He picked up the loose ball on the left side of the cage and somehow snuck it inside the far post, and we're tied at two. Yeah, that now, see what Dartmouth does with low on the shot clock. The pass goes whistling through, and Bimefor grabs the loose pass. Not a shot, but a pass there that Bimefor was able to corral, and now Bryant the other way. Here's a long pole. Shot, and a score! It's the long pole. Coffee. 3-2 Bulldogs. Five minutes to go in the first half. Dartmouth possession. Pass in front. Shot is blocked. Ground ball picked up. Shot saved by him four. Another good save from by him four. Hard to come by offense. O'Rourke with five seconds on the shot clock. Four seconds. O'Rourke's turning. And he scores. Top shelf for Mark O'Rourke. He picks up his first goal of the afternoon, and Bryant's lead is 4-2. That was a good cut into it. This is Paul trying to get away from the defense. Goes down to the knees, hands it off. Now a low shot. Bimefor makes the save. Rebound bounces in the air. The rebound shot and a goal. Height again picks up the big carom on the rebound. And is wide open to finish pass. By him forward, tied at four. Big opening game against Bucknell. Quiet last week. This is Weingarten. Gets free and he scores. Ankle breaking move from Weingarten. And then he whistles it home. It's 5-4 Bulldogs. Just 14 to shoot now. As Martin makes his move around the cage. Out on top, here's a low shot by him for right there. Johnny on the spot makes the save easily and now starts a transition. It's a spin move from Fisk through midfield. Full 360 from the long pole. For the entirety of its existence since the 1998 year when football came to Bryant. But last year, the Bulldogs added field turf and now here's a bounce shot and a goal for Gomez. It looks like it's going to be won by Dartmouth. They are able to control it. Now here's a shot right on top of the crease, and Dartmouth answers quickly. Somehow finding space, Jack Richardson makes it a 6-5 game with 11.22 to go. So Dartmouth not going away just yet. And this one up. Going to have to be a quick uh, set up here. Five seconds. In the middle, tie up, ball comes free. One second, that's going to do it. At the horn, I think Bimefor might have made a save, but the game is over, and Bryant holds on 6-5 to five over Dartmouth today at Burns Stadium. What a finish. What a lacrosse game. And the Bulldogs have won back-to-back -back home contests and are 2-1 and one on the season. Wow.